Hi guys, it's Dan from Dan's Best Tech. A while back, I attempted to upgrade the storage on my 13-inch MacBook Air from 2015. I upgraded the SSD and added a permanent microSD card to the memory card slot. This is my guide and thoughts on the process. First, I wanted to say that it is really easy to add an SD card to the computer. I've even installed Windows through Parallels and played some older games off of the SD card. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video on that experience. The thing about the SD card though is that it is much slower than upgrading the SSD, but if you care about simplicity and really don't care about storage speed, then an SD card upgrade might be a great option for you. BaseQI sells an aluminum micro SD card adapter that sits flush with the 13 inch MacBook Air. It's super easy to install, you just plug it in and format it through disk utility. But as I said before, the only downside is that it just isn't as fast as a true SSD upgrade. So now let's get to the SSD upgrade process. I can only recommend a genuine Apple SSD that you purchase on eBay at this time. Any SSD made by a third party manufacturer or any adapter will decrease battery life and potentially cause your MacBook Air to randomly reboot. I tried the OWC SSDs as well as the Kingston Digital 960G and Intel 660P SSDs with the Syntec SSD adapter, but all options decreased my battery life from 10 hours to 6 or 7, and I got many random reboots. Once I purchased a genuine Apple SSD from eBay, my battery life shot back up to 10 hours and the computer stopped rebooting. So yeah, spend the premium for a genuine Apple SSD. Next, let's talk about the process to upgrade the SSD. It's a relatively simple process, but it will take some time and another external hard drive to back everything up via time machine. Additionally, you'll need a P5 Penelope screwdriver and a T5 Torx screwdriver. And of course, you'll need a new genuine Apple SSD as well. Take note, if you haven't already used the external hard drive to make backups for this computer, this process will wipe everything off of the hard drive. You'll lose all of your data on it, so you'll have to back up those important files on a separate hard drive first. Now let's get started. The first step is to plug your external hard drive into your MacBook Air. If you get a pop-up asking you if you'd like to use this hard drive for Time Machine to make backups, then proceed forward. If not, you will need to open Disk Utility under System Preferences. You should see the recently attached hard drive under External. Click the drive and click Erase. Name it Backup. Keep the format as macOS Extended Journals. And keep the scheme as GUID Partition Map. And finally, click Erase. Now you should get a prompt, do you want to use your external hard drive to back up the Time Machine? Select the option to use as backup disk. If you don't get a prompt, select it under System Preferences, Time Machine, and select Backup Disk. Then choose the hard drive you just plugged in. It should start backing up automatically. Have your MacBook plugged into a power outlet though, because this will take a few hours. Once the backup is complete, turn off your computer and unplug the external hard drive. Flip the MacBook Air over and unscrew the eight short five-point screws and the two long five-point screws on the hinge edge with the P5 Penelope screwdriver. After the screws are removed, you'll be able to remove the bottom plate. Do this by pulling it up near the black plastic hinge. Next, unplug the battery by pulling back on the connector. Make sure not to pull up, but pull back towards the battery itself. Next, use a Torx T5 screwdriver to remove the single T5 screw holding the SSD in place. After removing the screw, pull the SSD gently away from the socket. Do not lift up, but again, pull away from the socket. Finally, we are ready to install the new SSD. Insert it into the socket on the MacBook Air, making sure that the socket on the SSD lines up with the pins on the MacBook Air. Screw back in the T5 screw, plug back in the battery, add the back panel back onto the MacBook Air, add the two long P5 screws along the hinge, and finally add the eight remaining pentalobe screws. Now we can start booting it back up and restoring it. Plug in the hard drive, start the MacBook Air while holding the command key. After it boots, and it'll take a while, choose Disk Utility to format the new SSD.
select the new SSD, notice that the size is correct, select Erase, and select the format Mac OS Extended Journaled. After this is done, quit Disk Utility. Select Restore from Time Machine Backup and hit Continue. Select your external hard drive, hit Continue, and select your latest backup. Select your new larger SSD, mine was labeled Macintosh HD, and you can also see that I upgraded my SD card already. Don't choose your SD card if you've already upgraded that. So go ahead and erase the Macintosh SSD again. And get ready to wait. This will take a while depending on how much stuff you backed up. My 256 gigabyte SSD was almost full, so my restoring process took a few hours. So don't forget to plug in your MacBook. But with the magic of video editing, it's done. After it completes, you'll have to sign back into your Apple account. So how does the new SSD perform? I never expected to see any kind of speed boost or battery life improvement with the new SSD, so the results here are just fine. It's the same battery life and similar speeds, it's just a capacity upgrade. But I highly recommend this path if you are in need of fast read and write speeds with your additional storage. So in conclusion, if you need a storage upgrade in your 2015 or 2017 MacBook Air, please buy a genuine Apple SSD or simply an SD card. Anything else will kill your battery life and possibly cause reboot issues. For speed, I'd go with the SSD upgrade, but for the quick and cheaper approach, an SD card works just fine with the base QI adapter. Let me know in the comments though, have you upgraded your SSD or SD card in your MacBook Air? Did it cause any battery life or reboot issues for you? Click like if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more, and check out dancebesttech.com for a full written review. Oh, additionally, my wife and I are thinking of starting a new YouTube channel where we play older games. Uh, she's really good at side-scrolling games like Super Mario or Dr. Mario. And I thought it would be a good idea to let you guys watch how badly she kicks my ass at video games. Anyways, see you in the next one.